Welcome to our YouTube video on Excel formulas. In this short and informative video, we'll guide you through the world of Excel formulas, helping you unlock the huge potential of this powerful tool. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, get ready to enhance your productivity and efficiency in Excel. So let's get started. First is some formula. For that, type an equal sign in the cell where you want the results. Then, open parentheses, select the range of cells for which you want to calculate the sum, close parentheses, and press enter. Next is percentage formula. For that type an equal sign in the cell where you want the result. Select the cell containing the total obtained marks. Type a forward slash for division. Enter the total number, 500 in this case, multiply the result by 100, and press enter. For status, means pass or fail, type equal sign, then type if parenthesis open, select percentage value, then greater sign, type 33, means if the value of percentage cell is greater than 33, then show pass, so for that press comma, to separate the arguments, then inverted comma, then pass, inverted comma close, then comma, then inverted comma open, and fail, inverted comma close, and close parentheses. Now here if the percentage value is greater than 33, it will show pass status, otherwise it will show fail. You can drag lower right corner of the first formula cell, that will copy the same formula for that column. We will do the same for other cells. Now here you can see, the percentage is less than 33, so it is showing failed status. If we increase some marks, like here make it 45 it will change the status. For grade type equal sign, then if parenthesis open, select percentage cell value, then greater sign, 70, comma, inverted comma start, A, inverted commas close, means if the percentage value is greater than 70, then show A grade. Next again type comma, repeat the same formula only change the value, like if the value is greater than 60, then show grade B. Again repeat same formula for C grade. Now at the end use the second option. Like we used in pass or failed column. Means comma, then inverted comma start, F, inverted comma close, close all three open parenthesis. You can add more grades using the same steps. Drag the formula for all cells. Now if you want to filter the students, just select the top row of the table. Press Ctrl plus Shift, plus L, it will enable the filter function for your table. Now here you can filter the students, with specific grades, or status. Or you can arrange small to large, or large to small, or alphabetically. If you want to remove these filters, for that, again select top row of the table, and press Ctrl plus Shift, and L. For average formula, means you want the average marks of all the students for a specific subject, type equal sign, write average, then parenthesis open, select the range of cells with marks, parenthesis close, and enter. For count of cells, write equal sign, then type count, parenthesis open, select the range of cells, parenthesis close, press enter. This formula will only count cells having numbers. You can't count cells with text. If we put this formula for first column, here you can see it is showing zero value. For both text and digits we use count A, or counter. Type equal sign, then count A, or counter. Select range of the cell. Press enter. Next formula is to count blank cells in your table. For that type equal sign, then count blank. Then select the range of cells. Press enter. So here there is one blank cell in this column. If you want the sum of all values of a specific category in a table, for that we use 
sum if function. For that type equal sign, sum if parenthesis open, select that area which have some category, like here bakery, have a value of 46, then coma, then select that cell in which you will write that category name, and value of that category or anything you want in return. Then coma, now select the values of those categories, means values you want in return as a sum. Close parentheses. Press enter. Now here if we type dairy. There are two value of dairy in selected range, and the return is the sum of both values. That is 529. Now if we type bakery. Return value is 46, because there is only one bakery cell have value 46. In the same way flour will also give the sum of both values. That is 121. Next formula is count if. This formula is used to count the repetition of a category or value. For that type equal sign, then count if, open parentheses, select the range you want to count. Then comma, then select that cell in which you will write something to count. Here E14. Close parentheses. Press enter. Now if I type dairy, as you can see, count is 2. Because there are two cells with this text. If I type bakery, result will be 1 because it is only one time in the table. Next formula is about count or counter. Let us discuss count first. As we discussed earlier, count function is only used for digits, like here again type equal sign. Then write count. Parentheses open, select the range you want to count. Parenthesis close. Enter. Here you can see it is showing 9. Because there is 9 cells. But now if we change the range having some text, like here. Here you can see the result is 6. Because there are 6 cells with the digits, others are having text in them. For text we will use counter function. For that again type equal sign, then counter, parenthesis open, select the range. Parenthesis close. Press enter. Here it goes. Return is 9. It has counted all the cell with some value, either text or digit. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with our latest content and won't miss any future videos.